Hi everyone. Today we're going to convert colors from hexadecimal format to RGB format. RGB is a much friendlier format to use when you are computer programming. Now on the web, we use hexadecimal format. And when I look for colors, I see the colors in this form much more often. So there is what we call an R, which is red, a G, which is green, and a B, which is blue. And we're going to find the red, green, and blue for each number in hexadecimal format. And we will check and see if we did indeed get the correct color. Hexadecimal is base 16. And base 16 starts with all the digits in base 10, 0 through 9. But then we continue on to 10, which is A, the digit A. B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. So hexadecimal digits go up to F, and they go up to a value of 15. These are the two colors we're going to try converting today to RGB. Okay. In each of these numbers, we have a 16 to the first place, or what I call the 16th place, and a 16 to the zero power place, which is what I call the units place, or the ones place. Each of these numbers are going to have these values. The left number is the 16th place, and the right number is the units place. So we are converting FF, so I put them in FF, 07, I put in 07, and 3A, 3A. I put them in, and I'm going to find it in RGB format. And here's reminders of what each letter is worth. Now, let's look at the F. The F is 15. So 15 is being multiplied by 16 to the first power on the left and 16 to the zero power on the right. Now, over here, we have zero being multiplied by 16 to the first power let me just uh, correct this color on the left and 7, 16 to the 0 power. So we are multiplying 0 times 16 to the first power and adding that to 7 times 16 to the 0 power. Now we go on with 3. 3 is being multiplied by 16 to the first power. Let's make that white. And we have A. Let's look what A is. What's A? A is 10. Okay, so 10 is being multiplied by 16 to the 0 power. Okay, so let's do it. We're going to copy exactly what came from this page. And we're going to simplify it with the order of operations. Ooh. Let's get that. And uh, seven and three and ten. Okay, let's do order of operations now. Okay. Control C, Control V. Okay, so 16 to the first power is actually 16. So we're just going to get rid of that one there. And 16 to the zero power is just simply one. So let's make that one. Now let's line it up so it looks nice, a little nicer. Okay, now we do this. Okay, 16 to the first power is just 16. 16 to the zero power is just simply one. And we move it over. Do the same thing here. 16 to the first power is just 16. Oops. 16. 
and 16 to the 0 power is 1. Move it over. Okay, let's simplify now. 15 times 16 is 240. And we're going to add that to 15 times 1, which is 15. And when I add these, I get 255. Now, over here, 0 times 16, we know is 0. And I add that to 7 times 1, which I know is 7. And 0 plus 7 gives me 7. And last but not least, we have 3 times 16, which gives me 48. And, oops, and 10 times 1, which gives me 10, gives me a total of 58. And now I check my answer. I should be getting 255, 7, oops, 7, and 58. And it, it should look like this. So let's check it out. I'm going to go into my turtle now. 255, 7, and 58. Okay. I'm making it so that it draws a circle. Let's see if the circle is the right color. Hmm. That looks pretty close to me. So we succeeded. All right, let's take these colors out and start again. We're going to do the other color, and then we'll be done with the lesson. So let's go to our next color. Okay, we have E9, which is our red components, 2E, which is our green component, and FB, which is our blue component. Okay. So let's do our substitution. E, hmm, let's look at what E is. What is E? E, E, E is 14. Okay. So E is 14. Did I, I think I put it here. Yes, E is 14. Okay. Nine is just nine. Somehow that got there. I forgot to remove it before. Okay. Two. It's just two. Oops. And now we have an E, which we already had an E, and it was 14, so no need to look it up again. It's 14. Our F, which comes one after E, so it better be 15. You could check on the chart if you like. And last but not least, our B, which I will check on the chart, even though I think it's 11, which it is. And I go to 11. Okay. So now let's copy this down. Okay, so we got our 14, our 9 that I forgot to remove from last time, our 2, Our 14. And what is being multiplied by 16? Copy. Paste. What's being multiplied by 16? Let's look. 15. And 11. Let's make this uh, the right color here. Okay. If we copy this, we're going to do our order of operations to make sure that we get the proper answer. Okay, so 16 to the first power, a reminder, that's 16. 16 to the zero power is 1. And that's pretty even. Do the same thing here. Control C, Control V. Okay, 16 to the 1 is 16. 
16 to the 0 power is 1. So let's move that over 1. And we do the same thing with this. Control C. Control V. Okay. 16 to the first power is just 16. And 16 to the 0 is 1. And we can move this over one space. And now we can do our order of operations. 14 times 16. All right. I have to look that one up. 14 times 16. Two hundred twenty-four, and I'm adding that to nine. Oops, and I'm getting for my R two hundred thirty-three. Two times sixteen gives me thirty-two, and my fourteen times one gives me fourteen, and I'm putting in forty-six. Now, 15 times 16 is um, 240, and I'm adding that to 11 times 1, which is 11. And that whole thing gives me 251. So let's look. This number, this hexadecimal, gives me a triple of 233, 46, and 251. Now, this is tough to remember, so let's uh, just be careful when we put this in. 233, okay, 46, and 251. Let's just make sure. Okay, and we're hoping to get this nice hot pink. Let's see if we get a nice hot pink circle. Let's see. Let's see. And ooh, that looks like a hot pink circle to me, people. So this is the end of my demonstration. Please click like if you liked the video. And I thank you for watching. Everybody have a nice day. Take care now.